Ticketing is Assembler's issue tracking service. It lets you record project tasks, assign them to team members, and monitor their progress as the tasks finish. From the Tickets tab, go to New Ticket to create a ticket. Summarize the task in a title, and below, write a complete description of the issue. Go to the bottom of the page and hit Create, and there's your ticket. That's the simplest ticket, but there's lots more you can do with it. Let's go back and edit this ticket. You can assign the ticket to a team member. The ticket is now Jillian's, and it's hers to complete. We can also raise the priority, designating its extra importance and making it appear higher in searches. Updating the ticket now will add the changes. If you progress on a task, or have anything else to say about it, attach a comment. The comment now appears in this activity stream, which lists all changes made to the ticket. You can also supplement the ticket by attaching files. That might be maybe a bit of code, maybe a document you made using word processing software, maybe an image, or uh, you could attach a screenshot using this Java applet we've got built in. So select the part of the screen which you'd like to copy and get a shot to, for example, annotate a bug report. The files will now appear attached to the ticket. You can link tickets in several ways. You can use code. When I type re number two, I link this ticket to ticket number two. The comment now contains a live link to the related ticket. You can also associate tickets to note relationships. Type the name of the ticket you want to associate this one with. Autocomplete finds the one you're looking for, and you can associate it, either as parent or child, or if there's no hierarchy, just related. This big link here now connects the two tickets. There are other ways of organizing tickets, the most useful one being milestones. Milestones range tickets into categories by time. This is particularly useful if you're, say, designing software, which you release in iterations, but really, most teams define project goals by date. Let's go back and give our ticket a milestone. You can do it as we assign priority, edit the ticket, and find the drop-down box. But let me show you a quicker way to configure tickets. Right-click on a ticket to bring up this pop-up menu. This lets you reprioritize a ticket, among many other options. You can reassign it. Let's give this one to George. Or you can add the ticket to a milestone. You might have noticed uh, this other option, the ticket's status. The ticket's most important option because it allows you to monitor its level of progress. When you create a ticket, its status is new. Once the assigned member has accepted it, its status is accepted. Next level is test, when it's ready for testing, perhaps by a superior. These options mean the ticket's active, still undergoing active development, but the next two close it. Invalid means discarded, perhaps the issue never needed fixing, and fixed means the job is done. Let's return to milestone. We just assign a ticket a milestone, and each milestone has an associated date. You can view the milestones on a calendar. Green means a milestone we successfully passed. Blue is a milestone still to come. The milestone we assign our ticket to is in red, because the date has passed, but it contains active tickets we failed to complete. Sometimes you'll want to further categorize your tickets. You can do this with components. Go to Settings, and you can add components to your tickets. This lets you create categories which you don't associate with time. So now you can add a ticket to a component, as well as to a milestone. You might have multiple components in a milestone, multiple milestones to component, or have it any other way you like. Let me show you a few other things under ticket settings. You can set a ticket's default values to anything you like. Let's say that when doubt, all tickets are high priority and go to George. You can create new fields to define tickets. This field over here will uh, state someone the team to report to. So the team field will be someone from the team list. You can change the default way tickets are sorted, change ticket email alerts, let people create tickets by email, import and export tickets, and customize privacy settings, changing who gets to view and edit tickets. There are a number of other features we've got related to tickets. I'll give you just a peek at them. The Agile Planner gives you an alternate way of viewing tickets. Here are milestones on the right and you can highlight some tickets under Stories or Features. Batch Update lets you edit multiple tickets simultaneously, as you may want to go as an iteration reaches its deadline. Let's select all these tickets and assign them collectively to Frank. Metrics gives you lots of data about your tickets, including the proportion that's in various statuses and priority, and who's doing what. 
The burn down chart displays your worker's daily progress graphically. We've got a straightforward search tool that finds a ticket you want for you. And finally, you can use filters to make full use of all those organizational options I showed you. Filters produce reports based on various filter criteria. Let's look for high priority tickets. Uh, there they are. Gotta work on those. Now let's find tickets that have been assigned to one person. Uh, let's say to Ferec. There. We gave him some stuff. Or let's uh, bring up all tickets associated with one of our components. There they are. And of course, tickets integrate with many other assembler tools, so I'll show you just a bit of two of them. First, this is Time, a tool that helps with, among other things, billing. To bill my company for a job I did, I can select the relevant ticket to describe the work. Second, if a non-member views your space, let's say uh, a customer for instance, you might not want to let them add or edit your tickets. You could also hide tickets altogether. But, so they can contact you, we put tickets in another tool, Support. Using Support, the customer can create their own ticket, which you can view and report on, just like an internal ticket. And they'll be able to view it as well. So, now you know how tickets work. If your project involves any kind of issue management, add tickets to your workspace.